duckies, Andy, hey, what is going on? Today is nuts. Nate has released a brand new version of Streamerbot that is like insane. So we're still in alpha. So I just want to do a quick disclaimer of that one. If you want to get access to the alpha, you will need to be supporting uh, Nate over on Patreon. All the links will be down below. And if you're not supporting um, his Patreon, please just support it like he needs our help to keep him in a job and keep making this incredible software. Um, so please, from £5 a month or whatever it is, just join. Just join, okay? He deserves it, and, like, the alpha's amazing. Uh, and the more people we get on the alpha, the more feedback Nate can get, the quicker we can get it out in the public, right? So do it. Just feedback any issues that you have with it and everything like that, and everything's amazing. Right, with that all sorted, let's just get into it. The patch notes are absolutely wild. The first thing that I want to say is um, please make sure you do read this because uh, it explains about what's going on. I cannot believe Streamerbot is going to be five years old. How wild is that? Like, I, I was, like, one of the first, if not the first content creator to cover stuff on Streamerbot. Uh, that's because they're, um, they're, they're those uh, Life and, and Nate really, like, uh, hooked, hooked me up um, and... I hooked them up. It was a it, it was a win win scenario, and they've gone from strength to strength. It is crazy to think that we're where we are today. It's wild, um, and I owe them so much. Um, so please take your time to read this. This is really like heart uh, felt. Um, message. I don't want to read it all now because obviously I don't want to bore you. Uh, but there's some really important stuff in there, such as go support Nate. He's he's been struggling to find a job. Um, and Streamerbot is his full-time job now, so please go support him so we can keep getting these updates. Right, first things first, yes, kick. The green app is supported. Um, I'm going to support it um, just because kick's API is like ass, <laughs> okay? Uh, but obviously, hopefully, uh, as more and more people feed it back to them, it might get better. I am... Not a kick streamer, uh, but I will have to start doing some sort of multi stream over there because I'm guessing you guys are going to be wanting the stream up products and all the stuff that I make for kick. So I guess I've got to do that, right? <laughs> if you want that, please let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do, okay? Um, and come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. That's where we're live right now. We're trying to go for partner this year. So please, please. I love you. Um, so, yes, Kick is going to be added. We're going to be looking at that in a second, and I'll show you the different things that are available in there. Um, what we'll also do as well is rather than make this video massive, we'll talk about everything, and then in separate videos, I'll show how to set those different features up properly and everything like that and get them working. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos. Uh, we also have cloud backups. This is wild. So being... Um, uh, a full-time streamer and content creator uh, myself, this is huge. Another backup is never a bad bad thing, right? Um, so, obviously, the way Streamerbot already works is pretty intense when it comes to, to backups. Like, there's backups on backups within backups of backups. Like, there are so many different backups. You have a backup folder, right? And this backup folder has got all the backups in there so you can go back to different points in time, which is super nice, even when you do a full update it backs up as well which i'm going to be doing a full video on the best way of updating and everything like that properly uh very soon so subscribe again for that uh, but now there is going to be a cloud backup but you will be needing to join for this because stuff like um the other stuff we're going to be talking about like the custom web hooks and everything like that you it does cost money. It costs Nate money to run uh, and keep everything up. So you will, if you want to access these features such as cloud backups, you will need to be supporting on Patreon, which is absolutely understandable. Um, the the level of service that, that Nate is adding into Streamerbot is intense. So yeah, just join. Um, uh, while in alpha, any alpha user um, has access um, based on Patreon tier. Subscribe out once it's released in stable and beta. Uh, the thank you tier will be required with lower limits than um, bronze tier. So yeah, it's 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 all there. Please just just go support, man. Uh, if you guys are making money with Streamerbot, which you are because you're streaming with Streamerbot, just give a tiny percentage, one percent. 
half a percent back tonight. It's not that difficult. Uh, we've got custom web hooks because obviously we've got Patreon, Kofi, Fourth Wall, and Shopify. Uh, Nate has also added in custom web hooks, so you you devs and stuff like that will understand a little bit more of that. I don't want to go too deep in that, but one of my favorite partners that I, I work with a lot, um, and uh, they're, they're in chat right now. Look at this. Oh, he's already saying Trent. Trent just here. Trent and Tomity. Whoa. They work at Duras, and if you guys haven't seen Duras, it, that is my all-in-one links page, but it's so much more because they've got their own API and everything like that. This is such an incredible, incredible tool. If you guys aren't using it, my link will be down below. Yes, it's an affiliate link because I hook those up. They hook me up. We're all best friends. It's great. Go check it out. Um, They'll be able to do cool stuff that um, with their API if somebody's like clicking on different things or edit editing things and, and everything like that, that can be sent then to stream about, which then could be sent to your stream, which makes the whole thing connected. Like connecting everything is insane. And we come to probably my favorite feature, and that is Dex 2.0. So if you guys aren't aware, I've been wanting to get back into doing music, right? And doing fun streams. And I've been creating a deck for my moderators to be able to control cameras and everything like that whilst I'm drumming or playing music or whatever. If you guys are interested in that, twitch.tv forward slash Andy Libby. And now Dex 2.0 is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so as you can see, this is the deck editor. And there is a lot more customization. We can control the way the buttons look, move them around a lot better, choose how many columns and rows. All that is pretty standard, but it looks like such a better um, kind of overlay for doing this kind of stuff. And obviously, if we launch it in full screen, you can see this is what that would look like then. Uh, and it auto resizes, so you can use it on multiple different devices really, really easy. Um, there's also now the ability... Um, so if I edit this item, this looks so much better. There is so much more customization for the decks as well. I'm going to be doing a full video on this because the, I've not even begun to, to scratch the surface of it because not only can we just create the deck now, we can also send data back to the deck. So if I open up uh, StreamBot just here, you can probably see if I just go to my test thing and we'll go down to add StreamBot decks you've got all this kind of stuff. So we can send information back to the deck as well. So now when my mods are like, oh, are we in recording mode? Oh, what stream mode are we in? This will say, oh, we're in music mode. So music mode to me will just mute um, any like musical stuff and everything like that. So uh, I, I usually have a crab rave alert if somebody subscribes. That will mute that, but the effect will still play. So it doesn't overlap with my music and stuff like that. So it will allow the moderators to see exactly what's going on, which camera's active as well, because we I can then send to here. So they'll be like, oh, the bass pedal camera's active. Cool. I can send that feedback to them, and then they can completely mix my stream, which is just insane to think. It's, it's so cool, and obviously your decks can be shared privately or even make public decks that people can play around with whilst you are live. There are so many different things for this. It's wild. It's, it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, and obviously all the different features that come along with that. Dex 2.0 is, is insane. It's so good. I love it. It's going to be amazing. And I cannot wait to go deep with this today. Um, at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy, obviously. Uh, where are my change logs again? So that pulls us into all the different features. There's obviously a ton of different uh, bug fixes and updates to certain things um, that obviously just improve the functionality and everything like that. But in here, none of this should be underestimated. Obviously, dark mode comes in this version as well. Um, obviously, uh, the, there is also... Where is it? La, 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 la. Is there any more? In the, this is the full kind of update, isn't it? But yeah, like it's just wild. It's just it's it's a crazy, crazy, crazy update. So when it comes to kick, for instance, if I go to triggers and go down to kick, um, we've got follow, stream offline, stream online, view account update, chat, chat message, first words, uh, the emotes. We've got a general channel update, uh, moderation, and the subs. So just as a bit of a warning to you all, not everything will be available because. Kicks API is not great. Um, as well as if you're adding 
um, sub actions to to control kick. You can do channel title, uh, reply to message, uh, send message to channel, do moderation stuff, and then obviously the user group stuff. Uh, so not all the functionality will be there, but hopefully as Kick add more to their API and stuff, feed it back to them, uh, and then get them to uh, use some of that gambling money to 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 actually make the platform better. I, I don't know, do whatever. I bleed purple myself, so uh, that's just how it is. Um, when it comes to setting that up, though, there's a really important message. Uh, I don't think it's written exactly in here, but it's on the Discord. There's a very important message uh, that if you're wanting to connect Kick, um, just with the way that it works, you, um, you will need to log into Kick, but also on the Streamerbot website. But if you guys are wanting to use Dex and everything, you will already be logged in on the Streamerbot website. Um, so you'll need to log into the Streambot website and also into Kick within the platforms. Press Kick and log in here. All the uh, information that you need to know is just here uh, to get all that working. So as you can probably um, imagine, this is such a huge update. Uh, the uh, Patreon link is in Streamerbot for you guys to join just here. Um, so please, please, please go sort it out. There's all the different tiers. If we go to see membership options, uh, just jump on the bronze support tier just here. Uh, and that gives you access to everything that you need. Just do it. Just do it. The, like I say, the more feedback that there is in the uh, Discord. So you've got an alpha feedback part. I, I keep posting a lot of stuff in here. And everyone's just like, Andy, why 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 do you just keep breaking stuff? It's just what I do. Um, so all the all, all the stuff's here. If you find a bug, put it in there. Look, th there's already new bugs being found for, for Dex 2.0. And the more that this gets filled out, the more stable it's going to get, which means more people are going to be able to get their hands on it. So, yeah, I'm super excited. Let me know what you think in the comments. If there's something specific that you want me to cover, um, then I will be doing it. I, I'm also going to do the backup and, and update StreamBot video as well, so make sure you are subscribed for that. And if you've got any questions, come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Even if I'm playing the drums or something, I can still answer your question because apparently I can multitask. It's just how it is. If you want to find out more about all this kind of stuff and more about Streamerbot, I've got a playlist, which is just here. Much love to you all. Put your rock over the stone.